Hey, Facebook family. Um, I got a shout out post this guys. Nice comment. How much holy me. Um, I love doing what I do. I love sharing what I do. You guys do things that I can do and I love learning from you. So um anyways, I wanted to say thank you. I also think that I have a little token of gratitude to you. Maybe. I wanted to show you what it is. Um it is built out on my website, so you have to go to my website, bring traffic to my website, so it can help me. Um, but we're looking at my website right now. And underneath the tools section, I have three um, special pages I think we're really going to enjoy. Uh, one is, and let's just check them out. Here's the first one. It's called Model Search. And it comes up and it tells you, you know, I might be adding to this. This is absolutely in its beta phase. But it kind of explains what this search is doing. Is that we're restrictively searching specifically for the following websites. And I'm I'm happy to add to these websites. You know some other websites that should be included here. What this is doing is, if I search here for something like other couch, I'm only going to search those websites which are specified, and it's going to default to an image search, so that it makes it really easy for you to go find 3D models of leather couches from known 3D uh, sites. So. And if you click on web, you can actually see what these web links are getting to. Increase the size of this. What these are searching. A lot of these are from Sketchfab, some are from 3D Warehouse. Okay. That's our first search. Check out another one. Go back. Your tools. Texture search. So this is going to go, it's going to search Pinterest. It's going to search textures.com. It's going to search a couple different known places. The other thing that's going to do is it is going to add a search term uh, seamless and um, texture to your search. Um, it's, it's going to be an influence. It's like a modifier. So if we search leather and it's going to default to an image search. So here we go. We're immediately getting an image search. These are supposedly seamless textures just by title, right? And then you can go find your images really quickly this way. And of course, you can punch in here at the top and do a new search. Maybe you're looking for tile. It does have um, autocomplete here. So the more people use this site, the better this autocomplete is going to be using. And the site is geared towards specifically towards us and our industry. This should become a really powerful search tool. Um, so there's our second option. We can click uh, this. The link click back to my site is not working. I got to work on fixing that. I'm not sure if that deals with that. This search is from Google, the enhanced Google search. Anyways, let's go back to tools. Here's maybe one that's going to be really interesting to everybody. The previous ones were maybe more interesting to um, this one is for Chief Architect, and it's going to search sites. If you want your site listed in this search, if you, if you have a good site for resources for Chief Architect, let me know. We'll add it to the search. I don't have any problem with that. So here we go, limited to a certain site. I'm going to you know, give a little bit more info here, but just try dormers, for instance. And here we go. We're going to, the first four or five here are ads. I'm not paying for this. I'm just hosting it. If I paid for it, we could get rid of ads. But past that, you're going to get a bunch of information pulled from either chiefarchitect.com, Chief Talk, um, the Home Talk forums, um, and several of our uh, local training guys, the guys that are in our users groups, like Dan Bauman, like Steve Nestor. Um, a few different people have information on their sites or the YouTube channel. This also pulls info from YouTube. So um, you should. YouTube in these results, Chief Talk, Home Talk, and great way of maybe finding your answer to your questions. Anyways, all these are hosted on my website. Check it out. It's uh, rabbitdesign.net. I'm not trying to give myself a self promo here. This really is a benefit to most people that use this. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's a great way of helping you 
locate the thing locate. Uh, the last bit of this is um, the we have high resolution image search. Okay. So high resolution image search is just going to search images greater than two megabytes. Oftentimes I need to search those. It looks like this right now, it may change, but just clicking on search will get you to the new search box. Already, um, this is built to search um, two megabyte or larger image. So I'm just gonna say Dormer because I'm looking for it again. Anyways, you can see here, it automatically sets to two megabytes. So, to, uh, or megapixels. So if you're looking for an image with high resolution, it's also there as well. Um, so hopefully you guys should use this and give me some feedback and see if you want to include some additional info. I like that it's a narrow search result because it's really going to help you find what you need right away. Check this out. I'm going to drop links in there. Again, thank you guys so much for the praise. I really appreciate it. I love doing this stuff, but it really means that much more when you guys do a little shout out for me. That was awesome. Anyways, thanks.